Yo, Mr. LeCouz, what's happening, dude? This is Galen calling from the Pacific Northwest, where the drought has officially ended. Um, I don't know what free state you guys are in, but I've been dragging my balls and knee-deep powder for the last couple days, and I'm just wondering where Drink Man Productions is. I'm sure you guys are off to bigger and better things and have probably forgot about us little people in Tacoma. So I hope things are well. Give a shout-out to Mr. Whiting for me, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace. So they came back from this award show in Bozeman, many celebrities in their own head. We've all seen Aspen Extreme. We know what happens in Aspen. Things were in a really bad place for me. Basically, sex, drugs, and tell your hide. Most of Bozeman knows me as Poncho, the fake Mexican boy hooker. Mike came back talking about awards. Like a mumbling drunk about some film he put, put on last year called The Drought, and like we kept on saying, dude, the drought's over. Something relating to comedy, I believe, nothing to do with actual ski prowess. I was really bummed that we got upstaged for jibbing uh, at the Cold Smoke Awards, which is a pretty illustrious award there. When you win an award like that, you know, why wouldn't it go to your head? I was starting my day with double Cosmos. I was doing mescaline when I was on the lift. Um, I caught him looking into reflections and in the mirrors and windows of his house most of the day. There was a rumor that he was in the mountains with Chris Davenport, but that's Mike's story. I, I, I don't see him much anymore. I'm pretty sure he's just making another sock puppet movie. Having gone through a drought in Washington last winter, I decided to come back to Telluride, Colorado, my hometown. I moved back into a small place on the side of my parents' house, and they really helped me, you know, and I've really cleaned up a lot. And so I think he slithered back to his parents' house to, you know, focus on jib monkeying and win that best trick award or whatever. I really wanted to come back to Telluride and concentrate on getting some good air footage, some good park footage. I joined Telluride Park Crew, a really elite group of individuals. Um, Rob, unfortunately, um, is suffering through the drought again. I got the pineapple curse following me. <laughs> uh, rolled out of Shasta about a week ago today. First stop is Telluride, Colorado, where we roll into town Wednesday morning in the rain. All right, on course, Chris Tatsuno. Kicking off all kinds of rocks and lumber. The San Juans are in rough shape. It just, it gets tough. A wise man once told me, he said, you know, sometimes, sometimes you find the drought, sometimes the drought finds you. And, and the drought found Rob again. Um, but Mike, Mike came back here and, and hit it. Ask him how deep the powder was that he skied yesterday, if you don't believe me. Productions came back to Colorado with an attitude, a vendetta, you might say. And he just kept on talking about the drought and like jibbing, and it's like, dude, the jibbing reality is not here right now. And moving back to Telluride has been good for my soul. I'm feeling a lot more whole as a person, and I'm feeling like this spring, although it's come early, uh, and the snow hasn't been great in Telluride this year, I've really made the most of a bad situation. I feel more grounded, more down to earth, and I feel like all my friends are starting to respect me again. You know, I'm back into a place where I am a real person once more. Well, you know, they say these days that the people are changing the weather. But sometimes the weather changes you. Yo, what's up, Kuzi? Yeah, it's Eric Collins. Just wanted to see how Drink Man Productions was doing. Heard you've been over in Aspen ripping it up and Rob and Telluride getting it done over there. 
But uh, yeah, it's going off here at Bridger Bowl, man. Things have just been sick. It's been an epic year from opening day right through. Just fucking awesome, man. But uh, yeah, I want to see what you guys are up to. Hope you're coming out for Gold Smoke. Get out there and 